Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time. I have my laptop right here and I'm on the Tesla website. Yes, I am buying a Tesla now. I'm really nervous to be honest because this is such a huge investment which has risk to it. It's not like that I pay all of it right now and then I have the car and you know nothing is happening in the next few years no of course i have service costs insurance and because i'm not paying all at once i have monthly payments for the next three years there are a lot of things that i put myself through now by buying this car but i want to do it and it is one of my dreams so why should i now back up from my dream yes of course Maybe I should listen to my stomach and say like, ah, don't do it, work two more years, get a different car and then fulfill your dream. But as I already said in many videos, I have a different thinking because I have this disease called psoriatic arthritis and who knows what's in two years. I just see, like, I don't count days. No, not at all. But I at least count months and a few years and when I say like what happens in those years I more specifically talk about am I able to move freely around the world in a few years so that's why I want to fulfill this dream now and yes that's why I will be doing this I will talk about yeah details of what I'm doing specifically in a different video but for now it's doing basically like the initial payment <sighs> I have selected everything I hope so. I will click now on pay with card. Oh, it feels really like a crazy decision. May it be worth it. May it be worth it. I just entered all my yeah, contact information and my card information. And now I'm on the last button to place the order. Oh my God. Oh, it feels... It feels... Not 100% nice, to be honest, but I'm young and naive, right? That's always what you should tell yourself. Guys, don't do it. Like, if, if it is not your dream, don't buy a new car, like, for real. <sighs> okay, I will do it now. <sighs> Just double check one more time all my information, also what type of car I chose. Yes, like, the, the important thing why I'm so nervous is also because I pay 2,500 crowns now. So like around, around about like 230 euros, 220 euros in advance. I double checked. The last time I made a decision that really, really felt weird was booking the trains to Sweden and was actually also entering the night train to Sweden. It all ended out pretty well. I live in Sweden now. Will this be something good for me or not? We will see. But we will see that together, guys. So now, three, two, one. I clicked on it. I barely have to verify myself. And then... Oh no, I did not even have to verify myself. It is now confirmed that I have ordered a Model 3. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you in a bit. I just double check through these now. Okay guys, I'm now back in this video. I just had some time to... Yeah, realize what I have done. I have the screen still open. So the car that I bought is basically already on the way to Sweden. It is not being produced for myself, but because it's a very basic one. Yeah, I already have received my VIN number. And unfortunately, the Wi-Fi, of course, is not working now. I'm really, really happy that it was working to yeah finish the payment, luckily. Um, but yeah, so now I'm waiting for the Wi-Fi to be back. And until then, I will show you something else that I have received today, because this is not the only highlight for me, but for me it's definitely the biggest highlight of the day. But there's something else that's going to be in the future. And guys, oh man, I still cannot really believe what I have done. But it already says LJ's Model 3, and I'm like, oh yes, this is going to be my car. You see that in my fridge, it's looking a bit empty in there, but... You see that? I will grab it for you. No worries. But I should not drop that. 
guess what it is? <laughs> well, I think you all know what it is. It's wrapped into two different bags. So I will take it out and then I will show you. Guys, may I present to you my dish for one of the next days? Search trimming. It's not smelling, so it's at least closed. Unfortunately, it is the whole fish. So you can buy this cans actually in a filet version or in the whole fish version, where you unfortunately have to take out all the stuff that you are not supposed to eat in a fish yourself, which makes this whole procedure even worse when you should not yeah, take too much of this beautiful smell of search trimming. Of course, as I already said in older videos, typically when you want to eat that fish like the real way, you put it under water, you open it there, and then you cut it like after that. But I want to do both. I, like, I want to do the nasty trend, but also the real way. But because this is, like I said, not filet, I don't know if I'm capable of cutting this thing without taking too much smell before, you know what I mean? So it's going to be a challenge, definitely. And I might even, yeah, get some friends in Sweden here to eat it with me. For example, my Swiss colleague, he has also never had Swiss trimming. And maybe also the person who brought it to me. Thank you again. So it is now in my fridge. We will see. I will definitely eat it in one of the next weeks. Yes, so that is all for today right now. Maybe I continue this video in a few minutes if I have more updates. But if not, then I already say goodbye right here. Work was work again. I had some education things going on. Nothing too special. The special things, you saw them. Buying a Tesla Model 3 <laughs> and getting source trimming. Okay, so have a wonderful day and we're going to see each other back in tomorrow's video. Maybe with some news what I have to do. Bye bye.